Hey, so my buddy Andy asked for my help installing a new gas tank and radiator shrouds on his 94 Mako 250. The problem with the Makos is there's nowhere here in the U.S. that really has a lot of parts. So you got to get a lot of the stuff over in Europe. And a lot of the stuff is not easy to find anymore from them old bikes. It's very, very hard to search for them, eBay and all that stuff. But he was able to get the new, ra new gas tank and radiator shrouds. The reason he has to uh, replace his gas tank is it it's leaking. And the radiator shrouds, we need new ones because we're not going to be able to get the old ones off. The uh, bolts that go into the tank, they put these little uh, metal things inside the plastic tank and they kind of like glue them in or something. Well, if it, the glue breaks or whatever, it turns inside. So you turn the screw, the nut turns and, you know, you can't get it out. So you can't loosen it, can't tighten it. It's a nightmare. So we're going to go down and do that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Really? Is it the same tank or no? Okay, so well, we have a bolt that doesn't want to come out. The radiator shroud here. So before we go and hack it out, we're going to make sure that everything fits with the new parts, just in case we have to put these on. Hack it out, then uh, kind of stuck.
the angle on the head of the screw. In order to get that to fit into the plastic, you need what they call a chamfer bit. But if you don't have one, you can use a regular old drill bit like you saw us do. That's why we were doing that. You make a little angle in the plastic so the bolt fits. So as you can see, because we put a chamfer in the screw, it's flush on top of the plastic. Unfortunately, the memory card uh, filled up on the camera while we were filming. We f it took quite a while. Um, and I'm going to have to cut out a lot because there's just so much trying to figure out what was going on. Of course, I scared the crap out of Andy with the, hey, that tank looks different because it did. Uh, the tank had a, an area on it that was a little bit bigger. And I always noticed that sort of stuff and it scared the crap out of Andy because he thought that it wasn't going to be the same tank. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about Mako's, Andy would be happy to answer them. Leave them down in the comment section. And uh, until next time, Ride safe.